face Aradun, but could only hope to beat him with the help of friends. The Wild Hunt could be defeated with exceptionally powerful magic, so Triss and Yen set out to reconvene the Lodge of Sorceresses. Avalach, too, began to lay plans of his own. The Elven Sage decided to erode the King of the Hunt's support in his own realm. With Geralt in tow, he ventured through other worlds to the city of Ternalia. There they found Aradin's viceroy, Gels. Gels had been a loyal subject of the Alder Folk's previous king. When he learned Aradin was a regicide, he agreed to help defeat the usurper.
Neckers surface here, dig their way out. Come on, Roach. Faster. A long way, and with dangerous fraud. But in our homeland, they say, in a risk, there is honor. Got a ring to it. Not true in my experience, though. Face plenty of risks. Honor, not so much. Because risk issues from intent. Important is this intent. The long passage I brave to admire the unknown, and bring glory to myself and my liege. The world we must explore, virgin lands discover, new knowledge garner among our brothers than to spread. For is there in life a beauty greater than to admire the new, to stand in awe of the never-ending creation of the world? That mean I've landed in a camp of explorers and philosophers? Indeed. Your customs we come to observe, knowledge to exchange, and goods, naturally, to trade. Your homeland. Be glad to hear some tales about it if you've got the time. If time you have. For of my home I could speak until your ears withered and your legs failed you. What here they call Ophir, in truth, is many diverse polities and peoples. A land it is of vast steppes, mountains forbidding, lakes clear as crystal and wild lands untouched. A land of fallen empires, kingdoms at their peak, and tribes that know no monarchs, yet remembering myth, a time when the world was young. You call any of these lands home? Yes. A town with towers to make Nilfgaard weep with envy. Of philosophers, doctors, mathematicians, and mages and enclave. But about these last you should, my friend, interrogate. For one among them is he, a runewright. I'll make it a point to talk to him. Quite the mount you've got. Ah, yes. A loyal friend I have in Babietza, and she is wiser than many a man. Countless races we have won together. So, an explorer and a jockey in one. From where I come, small children ride, and not a gathering is by a horse race not crowned. What did you bring from Ophir? Mind if I have a look?
our craftsmen's goods. You see worth in them? Quite a bit, I'd say. Ah, these are nothing compared to what I could offer had I not lost my prize diagrams. How do you lose them? To thieves. In our travels, I and my companions surprise attacked by local ruffians were. The diagrams, their loss. I bemoan not so much as I do one of my comrades. Killed in the violence. See if I can't find your diagrams. Recover them for you. These instructions, when followed, produce items worthy of a king. Tell me where you were attacked, remember? A crossroads, not far. Forgive me. For this area, I know poorly. The detailed directions I cannot provide. North of the spot stood a residence, uh, near ruin. Should be able to find it. Take care now. Go. And in the world glory, its never-ending creation be praised. Farewell. Greetings. Greetings, and praise the world in its never-ending creation. Don't take this the wrong way, but honestly, world doesn't deserve much praise. <sighs> Nordlings. <laughs> Disagreeable always. Faces crinkled, soured, ready to quibble to death even a simple greeting. Aha! <laughs> but my tongue now has soured, while you for trade have come. Sadly, I can forge for you nothing. My belongings, tools inclusive, all lost. You're a craftsman, or a mage. Your tongue has no word to fit my trade. A scholar and artisan I am. Part craftsman, part mage. Demetria, runecraft, familiar to you are these words? No. Runecraft seems pretty self-explanatory, though. True, though my craft further ventures. Runes and glyphs I first make, then arrange into powerful magic words. Great practical applications as my art. For rune stones properly forged in a sword set so as to form a magic word, the blade more power grant than rune stones set haphazardly. Such words, too, can of glyphs be made and set in armor. Listen, folks sometimes hire me to solve their problems, even retrieved a missing item or two in my time. For me, this you cannot do. I sailed upon a great ship. It sank and my instruments took to the sea's dark depths. Buying replacements not an option? Of my own design they were, specially forged. A fortune it cost to make them. And all the coin that with me I had brought lies now in the murky abyss with my instruments. Seems your skills could be useful to me. Given that, I'd be happy to help you out. What do you say I get you the coin you need? You could pay me back in runes and glyphs. Is it certain your offer? A great sum I require. Tools of great expense I need to make even the simplest glyph. I make no mention of the more advanced or master crafted. Rest easy. Got a feeling this will be a good investment. Got some coin on me. Is enough? Uh, start it is. Costly craft. Yet the costs do not end with coin. Need I shall also a jade stone of size substantial. Hmm. See what I can do.
Being a priest, that's a soft gig. Apparently, likely to find some small jade deposits northeast of Novigrad. Want to try my luck there. surface here dig their way out Faster.
much jade here. Need to keep looking. Go!
seltsam. I made good use of my coin by the look of things. The return to my craft. Know you not the pleasure it brings. I thank you. Don't mention it. How's the work going? Several lesser runes I forged already. Practice, you see. <laughs> Yet I sadden in thinking the tools and ingredients I possess are not fit to create better. Got lucky. Found you some jade. Here. Thank you, I do. If you to gaze wish at my handiwork, to do so I invite you. Craft something for me, would you?
Thanks. So long. Help protect Ciri from the Wild Hunt, and the Emperor will grant you amnesty. I hope we can trust you. You can. What of Fringilla? That I don't know, but I shall take it up with him. You've barely said hello, and you're already plotting something. It's clearly in our nature. I hear right. You convince the Emperor to pardon them? Provided they help us defend Ciri. Hmm. <sighs> Got a hard time believing Emperor would go in for a deal like that. If you can't believe it, don't. I don't need you to. Bit about Frangilla. What was that? Triss told me you couldn't contact her. Perhaps because she sits in the Emperor's dungeon, chained in Dimeritium. At least that's what Rita implied. How's Rita now? Barely got out of prison herself. She spoke to Fringilla before they imprisoned her. Fringilla said that the Emperor had summoned her and she'd explained why after the meeting. No one's heard from her since. Thought this kind of drama only happened around Radovid. I don't like it. That was not our deal. When it's all over, I'll need to have a candid discussion with the Emperor. Come, they're all waiting for us. You make a fine sailor. See all the you can set in. All are present. You were the last to arrive. Might we set sail? Anchors away. giant longship that traveled between worlds. As Gels had advised, the Witcher set out to find the Sunstone, an artifact needed to draw Aerodin into a trap.
that settles the question of his Imperial Majesty's whereabouts. Does he aim to conquer Skellige? But he, he knows. Those are my friends. He wishes to grant you the Isles, with Sintra and the rest of the Empire. Is that so? The Emperor will have to help us fight the hunt. And we've just found Frangilla Vigo. We must hurry and find the Sunstone. Seems we've plenty to do in Skelliger after that. Fringilla Vigo. We need her here. At the moment, we don't even know what the Sunstone is. It was created so the Mountain Elves could summon the vessels of the NL. Now it merely serves as a symbol of a lost opportunity to unite the two tribes. Truly? Can all of you be unfamiliar with the story of Galban and Dillion of the White Flea? What I want to know is if we'll be able to use the Sunstone. You? No. Me? Naturally. With a touch of help from the sorceresses. Of whom some are below deck vomiting, while others remain unreachable. The Sunstones in Skellige? How do we know that? From legends. Elven ones. It lies where the White Fleet landed centuries ago. Meaning anywhere on any one of the Isles. Splendid. Ermion. I'll talk to him. Know where he is? I'll ask around the port. Kroch's longships are moored there. Can you teleport me onto Amir's ship? Not a chance. It's better shielded than the Emperor's alcove. Though we could try to force our way through. We need Fringilla in one piece. Think they know we're here? Emir's mages, of course. If the matter of Fringilla Vigo were resolved, they'd probably just send her over here in a skiff. It's far from resolved. The Emperor pledged to ensure the Lodge's safety, but- Fringilla's a pricklier matter. She's his subject, one officially sentenced to death for treason. You'll need to learn what Amir has planned for her, once we've found a way to toss you over to the Imperial flagship. I'll get on the Emperor's ship myself. A plan to swim? With swords on your back? You'll get shot up like a sitting duck before you can say, the white flame dancing on the graves of his foes. Don't panic. He'll find a way. Make your approach by night. You'll stand a better chance then. And once you're on board, show His Imperial Majesty this letter. Hand it to him directly. We should remind him what he promised and what he'll get in return. I'm off. Good luck.
Perhaps you should talk to him after all. What would be the point? Surely none now. And later? Don't count your father out just because he's the world's richest and most authoritarian rotter and worthy of even one inch of trust. All people I believe can be trusted. Perhaps you even should. What about the dictatorial rotter part? Got me eye on you. Wolf, did you see? The black dogs in their rickety tubs. They bear our gates, seek to strike fear in our hearts. Saw them all. Where's Ermian? Went to see Lugas. An uncrate on the throne remains a thorn in his ass. <laughs> now he's seen the black ones, it pricks him even harder. The druid's gone to reason with the dim-witted knob. I think I'll join Ermian. Need to talk to him. Go. And when you see that bloody twit Lugas, be sure and tell him... Uh, best not. The druid knows what to say. Farewell. Not me, nor that witch, Jennifer. That's one thing. But what about the black ones and on? Coroner, what's your step? I heard Grey Endel offers your son's future. Endel watches over the planet for your second. Greetings! What smells so delicious? Thanks for sparing a moment.
run, Roach. That's it, Roach. Faster. Faster. it, Roach.
Let's go. Come on. Hey there. Whoa there, Roach. Faster.
move. That's enough. Wait, wait. This one's really funny. <laughs> What's the difference between a Nilf Guardian and a Drowner? All right. What is it? Drowners know how to swim. <laughs> Hmm. One more knee slapper like that, and you're going for a swim with him. He hurt. He died for killing you just for a day. No uh, such thing as bad ships or bad weather. Then we won't do so. Be worthless fucking sail. Ray, be with you. your strut. Did you sever his head? Head of a giant on your mantle. Now that's a decoration. Respect, Witcher. Take control of my arm. I'll not kneel before an oncrite, never. That clear to you? You prefer to aid the black ones? I'd sooner aid the rights of bleeding Moorhog than let Crack rule all Skelliger. And your men, what do they say? Will they follow you when the Yarls call you a traitor? This here is my land, Druid. Watch your words. What would you call it if not treason? That's your bark before you bite. Did Crack send you here for my head? Well then go ahead! Try to take it! Get him! Give him no choice. Not your lucky day. Two, three, Greyhead's dead. 
dead to me. Well, Geralt, I see no row can occur in Skellige without your participation. Mean and inaccurate, Ermion. Seems to me I've missed quite a few. The blood of Crocs' blood sits upon the throne, and that is your doing. I'm afraid you've ignited a small civil war. For ages, men had shed each other's blood in the quest for Skellige's crown. Politics as usual, just a difference of degree. Yet the bloody feast at Kertrolda was different. It was dishonorable, treacherous, needed investigation. More witcher's work. Work that culminated with the crowning of the Isle's new queen. So, Clan Drummond will attack sooner than we expected, it seems. Thought Croc sent you to negotiate an agreement with Lugas. <laughs> An agreement? Only Croc believes such a thing possible at this stage. You mean I didn't actually ruin things for you? Not this time. Lugas' death stands to change a great deal. His cousin, who will now be named Jarl, is a weak commander. Stupid. This war will start soon, and even sooner. But why have you returned to Skellige? Listen, Ermion. Know anything about the Sunstone? Legends place it somewhere in Skellige. The Mask of Ulberus first, now the Sunstone. Monsters may rest easy. You've become a treasure hunter. I've never found the Enshi Elves interesting. But there's a Skald, Avent. He could help you. Once told me of some inaccessible caverns or ruins or some such. Where will I find him? Today? In Arambjorn, doubtless. You might also ask the pearl divers, Erling and Matthias Fishlung. Of late, they hunt near the tip of the bay, eastern end. Fishlung? Interesting. So they call him. Submerges for hours at a time. None know how he does it, but I've my suspicions. Hmm. Not too fond of him. It's nothing personal. I couldn't stand his father or grandfather, either. Thanks for your help. One thing, Geralt. 
These caves are ruins. Matthias and Erling's ancestors would have looted them bare centuries ago were they not protected by some magic barrier. Take a sorceress with you. You must have brought at least one along. Whole gaggle this time. Ugh. Gods protect us. That's it, Roach. Help us. Pendle watches over the ground for your second. The blood of kings.
What happened to your father? He was cutting wood, and a bear attacked him. Show me where it happened. Over here, past the trees. Well, that's how long a man's got to wait till someone shows up. Come on, lads, get to work. Grab him! Faster. Not now. Watching for Nilfgaard's fleet. Fleet? Oh, aye, they mentioned something. Nay, hey, I've more important matters on my mind. By my calculations, today's the day Givorg, the legendary white whale, will swim the waters of Skellige. Been waiting for this my whole life. Let's watch for Gevorg together, and you can tell me what you know about any elven ruins in Skellige. Heard of some cavern no one's been able to enter? Good thing, too. Elsewise, they'd have plundered it long ago like all the others. Avon. What? I... Uh, just wanted to assure you I only want to look around the cavern. It's research. Research? Writing a historical treatise on the Enshe Elves, under Ermian's tutelage. Ermian? Man never cared a whit about the Elves of the Mountains. I've seen through you, you can write it. Cut me to bits if you like. I'll never tell you about the cavern. <sighs> Sure to be today. Hmm? Yes, what is it?
last night was... the green Diver's boat. No way around it. Gonna have to dive. They call them fish long for a reason.
Look, Erling, told you we wasn't done for the day. Didn't even have to fish this one out. You daft. Can't you see he's a witcher? What's a witcher doing here? Never heard of Skelligers looting fallen warriors. Is that a tradition? I mean, these are your own people. You're not a voice. What do you mean, our own? These are feral scum. Went after the black ones with two long ships. Fish brains. Listen, heard you know a thing or two about elven ruins in Skellige. Who says? Ermian. Hmm. You'll not tell him what you saw today, will you? Depends. Elven ruins, you say? What you want to know? Druid mentioned some cavern you've never been able to enter. Where is it? East of Caertrold. In a cove you can only reach from the sea. But what you exactly... <laughs> I that early. Sir Stranger. I heard the milk food biting yesterday. Instead of the fish. Oh, aye. Following him myself, so I'm drifting on the plank. They promise you a gold ring to put him ashore. I'd rather verify it now. Otherwise, I'll continue to wonder if he's not about to stab me in the back. You've something of a persecution complex. You needn't come with us. I hadn't intended it. Going somewhere? Siri says there's a site in Skellige we must examine. Avalach's clearly hiding something from us. Earlier, when we were in the Isles together, Avalach mentioned a laboratory. At one point, he wished to teleport there, to retrieve something. And he refused to take me with him. It was all very strange. Sufficiently suspicious, don't you think? So what? Want to just sneak in and root around? Exactly. Coming with? Fine. Where is it? On a small isle between Undvik and Spikarog. Not exactly on our way. Just found out the sunstone's on Ard Skellig. Cavern along the coast that we can only access from the sea. Gonna need some real magic to get in, too. Go find this laboratory. I'll explore Ard Skellig. You can join me later. Philippa, your eyesight. Only just recovered and magically simulated. Didn't you say you'd need some time to get accustomed? Did I? Oh, I'd forgotten how irritating she can be. Come, Siri. We'll await you there.
raise the passing gate. Says three new long ships are for trouble like a what she wants for money. He's a fleet already. More than enough for a raid. Might have fleet enough for raid in a nunnery or a village. Not for war. Means to sail against the black ones, you think? Encroach on their waters. Crack has more grey hairs every day. I think he wants to leave the skulls something to sing about. Just wonderful. Witcher, I say, look at this. Let's go. What now? Gonna grow yourself some new eyes, like Vilgefortz did? I remember the moment I killed him. Cultivation wasn't complete. They hadn't grown in fully yet. Looked disgusting, but... I take it your mention of that deviant is purely coincidental. Of course. Also heard of this rich blind dwarf from Mahakam. Had them put two sizable rubies in his eye sockets. Couldn't see a damned thing. But word is, it looked pretty tasteful.
So how do we get up the... The stairs? I'll fix them right away. Ready. Let's go. Couldn't help notice the tension between you and Yennefer and Triss. It's very hard on Ciri, I think. There are times I doubt you three realize how it looks. Triss plays the big sister to Ciri, but eagerly awaits a chance to hop in bed with you. You and Yennefer play the parents. Yeah, so if you're angling to make it a five-some, there's clearly no room. See the sentry who seems to be waiting for payment. I'm fresh out of change. Oh, in blood, not coin. The sentry is Fearlin of the Elven legend. Do you literally read nothing? Jennifer must have tremendous pull with the Emperor to get him to guarantee the Lodge's safety. 
What's your take on it? My take? Obviously a leading question. No. Geralt, I'm tired. Let's sit and chat a bit first. Is foreplay that important to you? You'll get to work with the Emperor. Not excited? No. I, I mean, yes, of course I am. Thus far, the Lodge has oft banked on weak rulers. It's been one of our biggest mistakes. Hmm. So you're impressed Emir keeps his mages on a short leash? Yennefer's wise to keep you out of politics. I'm afraid you'd not realize which way the wind was blowing if you pissed straight into it. You ought to talk to Yennefer. Painfully clear there's unfinished business there. Yennefer's always walked her own path. I'm actually touched she decided to take an interest in matters of the Lodge this time. You don't trust her. So once the hunt's defeated, leave. Find asylum elsewhere. I hear a Dania's offering. I'd sooner stick my head in a Zoogle's spiky orifice. Thanks, but I've other plans. This deal with Emir. It's sorcerous business. Pick someone else's brain. So she's not told you anything? What about personal plans? Has she mentioned anything? A possible advisory position? Beside a young, promising empress? Stay away from Ciri. She's an adult, Geralt. You keep forgetting. She can decide for herself. So, onward. Don't you think it's time you stopped interfering in Ciri's life? No. But you do know we're not a pack of wolves you can just drive away from her with your sword. Sure you are. And yes, I can, if the need arises. Elven magic is just slightly more difficult than sniffing out a malodorous fiend. Watch this. Arahan Luma! Uh -huh. That means the sunstone is here. Don't stand there looking stupid. Try to shift the mirrors.
Last. Hand it over and let's get out of here. Not so fast. We have a matter to discuss. Let me guess. You gotta fly. You're about to tell me why you need the Sunstone so much more than we do. Then you'll change into an owl and whoosh. No idea where you got such a ridiculous notion. Ciri's safety is most important to me now. But I wish to talk to you about the future. My future. You'll like Nilfgaard, no two ways about it. I recommend the fresh alpine air of Nazaire. <laughs> and Yennefer claims you have no sense of humor. Now listen carefully. Once we've defeated the hunt and Ciri is safe, Yennefer's meteoric rise at the Imperial Court will come to an abrupt end. Which is wonderful from my perspective. I'm not interested in reviving the Lodge if I'm not to have the deciding vote. You're telling me this because... If I know even one bit, I expect that once we've defeated the Wild Hunt, you aim to slip out the back door with Ciri. To disappear into the wilds, correct? All very romantic. But perhaps instead of destroying the girl's life, you could take Yennefer with you and go. Triss might object. Ah, yes. So give Yennefer some friendly advice, would you? She'll listen to you. You want to take Yen's place at Amir's side. And at Ciri's. I think you understand it's inevitable. And I would truly prefer Yennefer to be far away when it happens. Holding her in the Imperial Dungeon would be costly. And it would give the wrong impression. Any other words of wisdom, or can we go? You may go. I know you have things to do.
blood of the Abba. Very well protected. I believe we'll find something interesting inside. How will you lift the barrier? Atlan Kirk's inclusion should do the trick. Remember the spell? I remember you teaching me. And to think I thought you an overbearing cold shrew at the time. Now, now. This is no time to get soppy. So, any incriminating letters? Closets full of skeletons? We've not even opened the door yet. It's a highly complex magic barrier. Let's try. Yappa Ligon! We've awoken the sentry. I'll take you. Oh. I'm trying to get through the Look around. It's a bit low, isn't it? Rummaging through his papers. You wish to come, my dear. Portrait of Siri, I think. No, that's not me. Where's the scar? It's definitely you. 
Hmm. Really captured you. Sure, Avalok's only interested in you for your magic abilities. <laughs> Very funny. Look, Geralt! It seems someone was literally just here. Avalak's assistant, maybe? No. Somehow, it doesn't seem like Avalak to have one. Hmm. A distillate? Smells like... Verbena. Aha. Uh -huh. Aha uh -huh what? No, nothing. Sometimes you really get on my nerves, you know. Herbs. Not very incriminating. Wait. We've not examined the entire laboratory yet. Feel like I've walked into somebody's bedroom. Yen. Genealogical chart of the Enhani Care, the Elder Blood, from Laura Doran. To me. You never showed me the full version. I had no idea Viedmont of Eden was an ancestor. Was he the one who punished his daughters with a hot iron? Or the one who had his own father's eyes gouged out? Him of the daughters. Why, even I'd never seen the full version. Seems Avalark has analyzed all the paths of Lara's gene, even those we thought extinct. He's only analyzing? Really believe that? If he's anything like our mages, I seriously doubt he's standing back and observing how Laura's descendants are doing. I don't think we'll ever know if or how deeply the elves have meddled in the gene's mutation. Did you have a hand in... in what Geralt mentioned? The work of those human mages? Of course not. Let's look at his notes. Gods. He spent over two centuries on this. He was the first to study Lara's gene. Volker? Hmm. Some entries about Ciri, but it's here, later, that things get interesting. He actually tried to cultivate a genetic mix like Ciri's, but one excluding the human line. Meaning what exactly? That I ought to be looking about for giant jars holding my siblings? Don't be foolish. Avalok never got that far. Apparently, all his experiments ended in failure. You are unique. And that's why we've the Wild Hunt to contend with. Let's ferret on. See if we can't find something even more interesting. This was not a good idea after all. Someone's there, beyond the door. How did you get in here? We mean you no harm. I care not at all why you're here. Get out.
You. I remember you. From Tiernalia. Remarkable. I thought all elves looked alike to those of your race. If it's Avalach you seek, he's not here. I know. And yet you come here. What for? To spy on him. He tries his damnness to save you every time you do something stupid. Is that not enough? What can you possibly know about that? You'd be surprised. He's told me a great deal about you. Like what? He said you shed Lara's features. I don't see whatever it is he sees. It seems a bit like trying to drink water from a mud puddle. But I imagine that belief somehow helps him with his task. What task? Do you think he trails you everywhere for pleasure? Even I grow ill at the sight of you. It's incredible how those like you still believe you're superior to humans, in any way. She's no human. She's a degenerate half-breed. To have no choice but to use something like that? It's humiliating. Another word, and I'll- What? You'll change nothing. She must do what she must. Then Avalach will finally be free of her. If he hates me so deeply, why didn't he tell me to my face? Siri, you didn't actually believe her, did you? She's, uh, personally involved in the matter, that's clear. What of it? If they despise me so, they should leave me be! like I did care more. Shame I can't do that at will because I'd really like to now. That's better. Let's get out of here.
Must we return to the boat right away? Something else you want to see? Not here. On Hindisfjall. In Lofoten. I met a young man, Skjall. And I'd like... What is it? Siri. Skjall is dead. The Wild Hunt. Everyone? No one survived? Skjall died later. You sure it was him? You'd met him? I was there. I saw his body. Will you visit his grave with me? I'd like to... to say goodbye. I'll go with you. Thank you. Could you open a portal to Hindisfjall? I can. Let's do this. Come back soon, all right? Mm -hmm. See you. Let's look around. Should be a relatively fresh grave mound. Thank you for coming. I detest graveyards, especially wandering them alone. Let's look around together. Come on. Lasse, son of Njord. Olaf, son of Ova. Inga, daughter of Chortnir. Damn it. He's not here. Skjall has no grave. Geralt, I shan't leave until I bury him. Think, the body. What could have become of it? They didn't burn it. Save that honor for kings and heroes. Doubt they left him in the garden, too. Hmm. Ugh. Bastards. What? Beyond the village, there's a pit. They fill it with sheep taken by Blackleg. Crabs pick at their bones at night. What are you doing? What you should have done long ago. We're burying Skjall. Burying Craven? You defy the right of the elders. Be gone. Leave this place. You defy our laws. Lower your voice before we need another grave. How can you defend him? Craven's place is in the ditch. Skjall saved your bloody lives. The Wild Hunt was after me. Had Skjall not led me away then, why they would have reduced Lofoten to ash? What would the Spectres be wanting of some lass who... I am not some lass. And anyone who so much as touches this grave will learn that the hard way. Hey, none will disturb it. Desecrating graves... Well... It's the only thing elders punish harder than fleeing the battlefield. And what you said... I can't know the truth of it. The gods will judge Skjall now. We were right to come. I was deeply troubled. I have no idea. Well, they shouldn't spit on his name anymore. Let's go. Back to the boat. Mm -hmm.
truth to that lava by the ice giant. <laughs> Why did you? You might have just asked. To hear you reveal all about your experiments with the Elder Blood gene? Unlikely. I've hidden nothing that could be useful in our struggle against Eredin. As regards the Elder Blood, you're all aware Ciri is exceptional. I am alone only in knowing to what extent. Or maybe you're just obsessed with her. I'm obsessed. Ramen supper, I... to come back after all this.
Ultra's orders! Stand down! Witcher, what a pleasant surprise. Warm welcome. Thank you, your majesty. You should have come with my daughter. Your welcome would have been different. Where is she? Close. Close, White Wolf, is what you are to decapitation. You're insolent, because you believe I cannot afford to hurt you. And you're right. Yet that will change one day, when you are no longer indispensable, but disposable. But enough of that. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. What do you want? Fringilla Vigo. Been told you promised Yennefer you'd free her. I can see. I know you're a busy man. So here's a letter. Ought to refresh your memory about the Lodge. Even Yennefer's humblest requests seem like threats. I've always liked that about her. Very well, so be it. Truly prepared to forgive them? Amnesty in exchange for help? I'm prepared to abide by the agreement I made with Yennefer. Didn't answer my question. Nor must I. Time I was on my way. At last, a point we agree on. Guards, bring me Fringilla Vigo. You may remove her dimeritium shackles. No introductions are necessary from what I've heard. Farewell. Fringilla, been a while. The other sorceresses, they're on Ginvale near Ard Skellig. We could take a boat. I'm sick to death of boats. And I despise teleports. But have it your way. Let's go. She'll be here soon, and she's sure to want to talk to you. I don't doubt it. Fancy pants. Uh, 